every person, every family, and the people in every business, in every institution, municipality, or government agency will eventually, in their lifetime, have their moral and ethical compass shaken and tested. The measure of leadership, or one's life for that matter, is not the tally of those problems and those challenges or their severity, but rather how one's response in the moment and in the days that follow. I'm a little suspicious of business ethics. I'm also suspicious of values. It's not because I don't believe people in business should behave ethically. It's because I believe that ethics modified by adjectives, whether it be business ethics, medical ethics, lawyer ethics, journalistic ethics, have too often been reduced to a regular, regulatory code separate from character. Ditto for values. When my wife and I teach her children, we don't teach values. We aim to instill virtues. So when we have to go to find someone we don't know, to buy a car, to hire a plumber, to find a babysitter for our children, what are the two things we want to know most apart from Christ? The first is whether the person is competent to do the job. But the second is equally important, whether we can trust them. Put it this way, if you're making a big purchase, what gives you more assurance? A multi-page guarantee in fine print? or the comfort that comes from knowing you are dealing with a person you can trust. But what you do in your business life will affect many around you. And when the hard decisions come, for example, firing a person who just isn't up to the job, those whose lives are most affected by your decisions are not going to ask how many business ethics courses you took. They will want to know whether you are an honest person who treats others fairly and does not hide behind evasions. If you are a person of character, they may still disagree with your decision, but it's more likely they will respect you as someone who asked the right questions and stepped up to his or her responsibilities. Even more important, you will respect yourself. Not everyone asks these questions, but we are discussing right and wrong at Iona today because this is an institution that expects its sons and daughters to be leaders and not followers. 